In today's world, frequent hand washing with soap and water is a cornerstone of good hygiene and disease prevention. But this wasn't always the case. Believe it or not, some historical figures had surprising bathing habits. This concept of cleanliness through the ages is explored in the new book, The Clean Body, A Modern History, by Peter Ward. A brief history of staying clean. Welcome back to Mysteries Debunked. Today we're exploring the world of hygiene through the ages. From ancient civilizations to modern day practices, we're about to uncover some dirty secrets and squeaky clean facts that'll make you appreciate your daily shower even more. Before we get our hands dirty with history, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Your support helps us keep the mysteries coming. Let's kick things off with a bang, or should I say a splash? Imagine being King Louis XIV of France, the Sun King himself. You'd think he'd smell like roses, right? Well, hold your noses, folks. Legend has it that old Louis only took two baths in his entire adult life. And get this, both times were on doctor's orders to cure his headaches. It didn't work, and he never bathed again. Talk about a royal stink! Now let's take a journey through time and see how our ancestors kept themselves or didn't keep themselves clean. Ancient times, the OG clean freaks. Picture this, it's 3000 BCE and you're living in the Indus Valley civilization. You wake up, stretch and head to the toilet. That's right. These ancient folks had sophisticated drainage systems and early forms of toilets. Talk about being ahead of the curve. Meanwhile, in pre-dynastic Egypt, people were all about that grooming life. Archaeologists have found combs dating back to 3200 BCE. Imagine trying to tame your bedhead with a comb made of bone or wood. And let's not forget the Romans. These guys were the ultimate bath enthusiasts. They had advanced plumbing and public bath facilities that weren't just for getting clean. They were social hotspots. It was like ancient Facebook but with more naked people and less fake news. Medieval madness, not as dirty as you think. Contrary to popular belief, medieval folks weren't total grunge monsters. They had morning routines that included washing hands and faces. And get this, hand washing before and after meals was a must. Why? Well, forks and spoons weren't exactly common, so clean hands were essential unless you wanted your dinner with a side of dirt. Full baths were a bit of a luxury though. Heating and transporting water was a real pain in the medieval behind. But hey, at least they tried. Oh, and here's a fun fact for you. Medieval teeth cleaning involved using twigs and small pieces of wool cloth. Next time you complain about flossing, just remember, it could be worse. Renaissance revelations, the dawn of modern hygiene. Fast forward to the 15th, 17th centuries, and things start getting interesting. Doctors began encouraging regular body washing and even recommended rinsing teeth every morning. Revolutionary stuff, right? Hand washing remained a big deal across all social classes. It's like they knew something we sometimes forget. Clean hands are happy hands. The age of enlightenment, cleanliness is next to godliness. By the 18th and 19th centuries, the upper classes were leading the charge in hygiene revolution. Bathing was becoming trendy, and being clean was a sign of high social status. It was like the Instagram of its day. The cleaner you looked, the more followers. I mean, respect you got. This period saw major advances in industry, plumbing, and science, which helped spread bathing and hand washing practices. And let's not forget the rise of soap manufacturing. Imagine a world where soap was a luxury item. Actually, don't. It's too scary to think about. Modern Marvels, the germ theory revolution. The late 19th century brought us a game changer. Louis Pasteur's discovery linking microbes to disease transmission. Suddenly, everyone was all about that hand hygiene life, especially in urban areas. By the 1920s and 30s, hand washing was common in most Western countries. Although, as usual, rural areas were fashionably late to the party. Today, our hygiene practices are more advanced than ever, thanks to ongoing scientific discoveries and public health initiatives. We've come a long way from using twigs to clean our teeth. So there you have it, folks, a whirlwind tour of hygiene through the ages. From ancient toilets to modern hand sanitizers, our ancestors have been on quite the journey to stay clean. Next time you're lathering up in the shower or washing your hands for the millionth time, take a moment to appreciate how far we've come, and maybe give a little nod to King Louis XIV. At least we smell better than him. Before we wrap up, here's a question to ponder. If you could bring one modern hygiene practice back in time, what would it be and to which era? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your support means the world to us and helps us keep bringing you these fascinating glimpses into the past. Until next time, stay curious, stay clean, and keep debunking those mysteries.